Good morning, this is Dan for evecopilot.net and I'm here today for a starter tutorial on missions and how to run them. So I'm here in station with one of my higher level agents here and I decided that I want to do a mission. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is talk to the agent to find out what mission it is that he's going to offer me. So as you can see here I've got this level 4 mission, the right hand of Zamataza Matazamadaza and it's in Yanuel. It's offering X amount of credits, X amount of loyalty points. And to complete this mission, I need to destroy the headquarters within the Sevens compound and its guardian Zor. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at this mission on a website called Eve Survival. I can pop open my in-game browser. I'll, set, I'll put the uh, link to this website in the description. Uh, and this website is basically a rundown of every mission in Eve. So I'm going to click on R, and I'm going to find, there you go, the right hand of Zimmer -da 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 -da, and it's a level 4 mission that I'm doing. So what I get here is all the information relevant to this mission. So the key points I need to pick out is the fact that I'm going to be fighting mercenaries. They're going to be doing all types of damage, but with heavy thermal, and you do get web and scrambles. So what I'm going to need to do now is fit my ship. Because this is a high level mission, I need to change my tank around. So first of all I'm going to accept the mission now because I'm happy that I can get that done. And then I'm going to close that down and open up my ship fitting. Now what when you're doing the lower level missions, you won't need to specifically tank your ship just to get the mission done. Um, you can very often go with sort of quite a standard fit. So what I'm going to need to do here is keep these two thermic plates on to keep my thermic damage high, resistance high, sorry. And I'm going to put one kinetic and one explosive on, and I already have naturally quite a high EM resistance. But because it does all types of damage, I'm going to take one of my um, offensive modules off and just put an adaptive nano in place there. So I've basically changed my tank around to now give myself the highest resistances against the mission. So once I've done that, I'll just have a quick look at what the mission's going to want me to do. So you see as I warp in, and this is basically all the information about the mission. Each group of, of enemies, what they're made of, what they do, and how to get through it. Now, I know this mission quite well, so I'm not going to bother reading through it all. The information that I needed was, was basically just the type of damage that I'm going to be coming up against. So I'm going to close that window down now, and I'm going to undock, and I'll also get my buddy to undock with me. And basically now we know what we need to be doing and where we need to do it. So we're just going to jump over into Yanuel, which is where the mission is located. And again, the other thing you can do, um, if you need to recheck any of the information, is go into your journal and under the missions, agent missions, you can then double click and get this information up while you're in space. So again, there's the location, Yanuel. Now, once we get there, where's my, oh, he's off ahead of me. You're going to, if you see now, because we've got a mission, like the the agent itself is, is in this Taru system that we're in. So if I right click here, you can see we now have an extra option at the bottom. And that's basically to return to the home base of the agent. We're going to move into the system where the mission's offered. My uh, overviews have gone a little funky here. Let's fix that. And then I'm going to walk myself and, uh, and my buddy here. You see now we get in, in the destination system, we've got another agent menu here and this is for the encounter which is then going to allow me to warp my squad directly into that mission did you get that fleet warp Calidus? Uh, no I haven't jumped come on chop chop waiting on a, waiting on my buddy there yeah I'm in the system there we go there he is so once I get into the mission I'm just gonna turn these uh, Turn these hardeners on there. Quick fix here. 
And yeah, now basically we know everything that we need to know now to complete the mission. Uh, we know who we've got to kill, what we have to blow up, and, and, and obviously what the agent wants us to do. So now it's basically just a case of getting the mission done. Um, when you're doing the lower level missions, um, you're not going to be seeing um, sort of NPCs of, of this sort of caliber. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of ships in here. Now, the only thing, sometimes in missions, there's sort of tactful ways to do things. Now, all this information, I think the most important thing really, is just to read the description of the mission from EVE Survival properly just to make sure that you know exactly what you're uh, what you're getting into really because there are a lot of missions where if you kill the wrong mob sorry you kill the wrong um, sort of enemy first then it's gonna bring more in and, and sometimes that can get overwhelming very quickly so you want to be careful to make sure that you do read all the descriptions properly and that you're not basically that you're making the the mission as as easy as it can be for you. You, you don't want to make it any harder than it needs to be. But again, you're not going to see um, missions that are this sort of hard early on in the game. Most of the missions that you'll be doing are, are going to be sort of a couple of cruisers, you know, maybe a few frigates with it. You're not going to really get this sort of damage. So I'm going to fast forward this now until the uh, until this mission's completed. Okay guys, so as you can see the mission's now complete, we've killed everything, we've blown up the station that we needed to blow up, and uh, we've managed to collect all the loot up. So what you see now is my journal here is now flashing, it's now highlighted. And let's just start our way back. Now if I look and I open up this mission again like I did before, you can now see that the objective is marked with a tick. That's saying that I've now completed that objective. So once the mission's completed and we've done everything we need to do, we can then just return back to the starting system. And that's going to then allow us to uh, hand in that mission <clears throat> and get the next one ready to go. And that really is all that needs to be done. <clears throat> so we're now leaving the system where the encounter was. We're heading back to our home base and then once we hand that mission in obviously then we will get doo -doo -doo, sorry dark. we'll then be able to get another mission offered to us now how the mission system works <coughs> is it's basically based off of standings if you open up your character sheet and you go to the standings tab you can see these are the factions and the corporations that I have standings with now, in short, you do missions for agents. Agents are part of corporations. Now, you can have standings either with a specific agent, with the agent's corporation, or with the faction that the corporation is part of. And, and they're exponentially harder to achieve. So you can see here, Amar, as a faction, I have 6.65 standings with. Ministry of War, which is the agent that the corporation that the agent belongs to have 9.79. .79. Now the agent himself, if we do a quick show info on him, I have standings of 9.73 with him. And, and basically if you go back to the EVE agent site, 
you can see all the agents that are available to you. So what you want to be doing is looking at your character sheet, looking at your standings. So for example, I'm doing missions with the Ministry of War. Okay, so they're the people that I want to level my standings with and, and work on my mission trees. Obviously the more standings you've got, the better missions you can do. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to find, use this agent locator that I have here on the EVE survival site and I'm going to look for the corporation which matches the Ministry of War that I want to be doing these missions with. So if I look down here, there's Ministry of War and then I can look at the level that I want. So if I look for level 1 agents, so obviously with you guys starting off, you'll be wanting to do the level 1 missions to start with. If I then search for that, you can see the agents that are available. You can see the station and the system that they're in. And you can see the standings that are required. So this guy requires a minus 0.95 standings. So unless you have negative standings with this agent, you're you're going to be able to do missions for him. But you can see if we go up to the level 2 agents and we search, these now require positive standings. So unless you have a 1.0 standing with the Ministry of War, you're not going to be able to get missions from this guy. Okay? And basically the better the missions are, the more standings are required to do that. So if you start at level 1, you can then do missions for any of these agents, whichever one's closest to you. And once you work and work and work and your standings become positive 1.0 with the faction of your choice, you can then proceed on to do the level 2 missions. Once you get the standings high enough for the level 2 missions, you can move on to the level 3, to 4, to 5 and so on see there's a level 3 agent and I need 3 standings to work for him. Some of the higher levels, so for example this quality here tells you how good the agent is. So this is a minus 19 quality level 3 agent so his standings only required is 3. If I want to use a positive 20 quality level 3 agent I need 5 standings. So as your standings get better, the more missions you do, the more standings you get. The more standings you get, the better the missions and the better the agents that you can use. So that's a pretty basic rundown of, of how we go about doing missions and more importantly how you start working up to doing these higher level missions. And remember, just get on Eve Survival is a fantastic website. It's going to tell you absolutely everything you need to know regarding how to complete that mission it's going to stop you getting stuck or failing missions if you do mess up a mission um, or you can't complete it then you are going to lose standings as well you're going to take a standings hit if you fail too many missions so getting the information before you leave for the mission is really going to help to make sure that you do get that progression you get the mission done as quickly as possible and then you'll also start to get rewards um, you get bounties on top of this every every um, enemy you kill, almost any enemy you kill is going to give you some sort of monetary reward. You're going to get a cash bounty prize just for killing that. But on, and on top of that you also get cash and loyalty points for completing the mission. Now loyalty points, if you go into your journal you'll see under this agent you have a loyalty points tab. So you can see for Ministry of War here I have 32,000 loyalty points. Now these can be spent at the LP store which is at the same station as the missions and you can basically it's basically a second form of, of cash here so obviously you can see here for 10 million ISK and 15,000 LP I can get a military connections book or you can get implants or you can get ship blueprints and all sorts of different stuff okay so start looking into that as well but save some up first and we'll save that for another tutorial but as you can see there's an awful lot of stuff here you can buy with these rewards so we'll leave it at that and uh, a quick thank you to Calidus for coming along and getting that mission out of the way so quickly for me again if you want to see a tutorial that I haven't covered yet by all means throw it in the comments in the bottom or you can put it on our forums at evecopilot.net thank you very much and I'll see you again soon